This is a get ready with me, let's learn copyright edition. Ready? Oh yeah, and I slept in my makeup, so let's fix this. So you know how the scammers are stealing our videos and now starting to say that we are the ones that are posting duplicate content, yeah? And if you haven't heard about this, yeah, this is a new thing. By the way, the collagen lotion on your face is also good for your hands, just saying. Well, in the United States, there is a big thing called copyright law. Every bit of this is uh, Googleable. Now, generally you're protected by just putting something out. However, the lines have gotten blurred a lot lately due to it being in public domain. And with the scammers being overseas, it's sometimes really hard for them to prosecute anything at all with a copyright. So what the fuck do you do about it? Ugh. That like super fucked up on my forehead today. So basically you're gonna start off doing a poor man's copyright because let's face it, none of us really has the money to go and do a uh, copyright through the United States Copyright Office. It's super expensive. A poor man's copyright won't cost you anything and looks like this right here. The only thing it is going to cost you is some time and some effort. Now the part that you have to do is put that on all your videos going forward. And I am going to recommend this. I'm going to recommend that you spend a tiny bit of money and you get your name here on TikTok on whatever your creator name under an LLC. It's literally one of the very first things I did when I chose my username on here only because I've been a writer for a very long time and I've had people steal so much shit, which is how I know about poor man's copyright and so on and so forth. So here's the thing about an LLC. Do not go through any of these companies. Literally go to the secretary of state for your particular state. It's going to cost you about a hundred dollars. Shouldn't cost you any more than that. There's actually a ton of benefits to having your creator name under an LLC, but I'll let you guys look all that up. The next thing is going to take you just a little bit of time. Once you make a video, you need to download it. Yes, it has the date and timestamp on it from TikTok, but download it and then upload it to your YouTube, Instagram, etc. with a second time and date stamp on it. Because according to a poor man's copyright, you need to have a time and date stamp on it on when you made that work. Yes, you have that time and date stamp on TikTok, but if you have it somewhere else, that helps tremendously in case they steal your video just off of TikTok and rebrand it as their own taking out your copyright. The cover your ass needs to be super strong with all of you, period. So that way, whenever the scammers go and they steal your video and say that it's theirs, and then TikTok tries to say that you are now not able to monetize it, you can argue with it and say, hey, look here, this is my copyright. Here's where I have it copyrighted. And I will absolutely get an attorney involved if you want to continue to say that this is not mine. And yes, you're going to have to start being very overprotective and be a dick about your own content. That is your content. You own it and it's your money. Don't let them take it from you.